uh, our desire and frustration by what, what's happening. And uh, I don't think there was any confusion on a part of VIA of how the Minister of Transport was feeling about what was happening. Um, do you think that anything would have been different? If, uh, could, it be, could it have been counterproductive if you were involved earlier from a direct face-to-face? -face? Because that's really what we're talking about, right? No, yeah, the idea, know, look, it's, again, it's, a, it's not uncommon. It's typically how it's done with any case. And the reason why my staff do it first is because they first talk to their uh, senior officials at the, uh, at the organization that they're reaching out to, and then is there a need for additional? So we don't want to duplicate resources. We don't want to spend time on the phone just expressing frustration. We want action. So that's why that's how it's done is let's get to work. Let's roll up our sleeve and, and work with the agency, whoever it is, to, to solve the problem. And, 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 and you know, it's, um, next time I'm going to remind you or the conservatives, if anything comes out of my office that you don't like, you can't criticize me if that's the case, if you guys are going to separate me from my office. But that's how, it, how work is done. Our MPs, ministers have staff that they help do their job. Just on the air passenger yes. we did also hear from uh, consumer advocates, let's say, uh, passenger advocates yesterday. Uh, there is talk about creating this for rail, but one of the criticisms is that the air passenger bill of rights is complex. There is, you know, an 18 month to two and a half year, I did a year, but I think about 30,000 person yep. wait list, right? Yep. For the complaint system. Yep. Uh, we know that we've heard people say, well, just, you know, go to civil court if you're. Yep. Getting your complaints heard by the Canadian Transportation yep. Agency. So, what needs to be fixed? It seems that there are issues with the Passenger Bill of Rights for air travel. Do you have any priorities in terms of how you can address some of those criticisms? Yes, uh, and you're right. The uh, stuff that we saw last summer had exacerbated or exposed some. Uh, inefficiencies in how the system is operating and I made a commitment uh, to Canadians even at the, uh, my testimony at the committee that uh, we are going to fix it we are going to take action and we're going to revolve our uh, uh, steps uh, around three focus simplification of the rules uh, in, uh, making sure uh, strengthening the rules and simplification of the process. So we're going to do all these three things to address the backlog, but also to ensure that the rules are stronger and clearer. Does there need to be reform at airports as well? Uh, that's another criticism of how um, you know, they're not necessarily crown corporations. They're sort of privately run. They're living in a bit of a quasi federally regulated environment. Does the federal government need to take a stronger stance in terms of how airport security is run, how airports are regulated? Would that help in terms of smoothing up that process, perhaps making that mandatory um, learning yep. uh, the, the Air Passenger Bill of Rights yep. so that it's a, perhaps law for airlines to inform passengers properly of what their rights are when there is a situation like this. Uh, Kevin, if you recall, last November I held an air summit that brought together CEOs and leaders of airlines, of airports, of other agencies. And one of the discussions, or the discussion, and frankly, revolved around what reforms we need to do based on the lessons we learned from the pandemic. And indeed, one of the lessons is how do we share more information between airports and airlines? How do we reform the authorities that airports have? How do we modernize our security screening process? That's indeed what I am working on, what Transport Canada is working on, and I am going to take action, as I stated. Stay tuned. When? It's an interesting tease you have there at TV Parlots, but when, when do you think that Canadians are going to start to see uh, changes that will actually improve their travel experience? Well, as I committed that for the Passenger Bill of Rights, this spring session I intend on tabling uh, changes to the rules. As for other issues, there's ongoing process right now of consultation, of discussions. I still have to take the, uh, the reforms proposals to Cabinet and then uh, based on the reforms, legislation, legislative changes, etc. So that it's still not as clear to me, but for the, airports, for the passenger, for the passenger right, villa right this spring. Info to do something this, yeah, this in, spring? Indeed. Okay. indeed. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.